Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm your girl Katrina. It is Walla Week at Heat Transfer Warehouse, so of course I had to pull out my Walla Press from Heat Transfer Warehouse. Y'all see the purple colors? Anytime you see the purple heat press, you know it's a Walla Press. Alright, that's their trademark color. They love purple. So today I'm going to be using my 11 by 15 8 in 1 combo Walla Press from Heat Transfer Warehouse. And it is on sale. Everything that's a Walla Press is on sale at Heat Transfer Warehouse. House, I believe until Friday I believe until Friday don't hold me to that you'll get 10% off any Walla Press purchase that you purchase during Walla Week only and they're also giving away free platen covers when you purchase a 15 by 15 or bigger heat press okay but this is an 11 by 15 11 by 15 small little compact swing away style I really love the swing away style and this is actually my only swing away so what makes this heat press and I do have a full unboxing so I'm not going to go all into the all the specs and stuff because you can look at my other video that I'll have linked down below in the description box that breaks everything down but this one is a combo where it comes with a mug press comes with all of these attachments here cat press and it also has the plate attachments to supplement you know different flat round circular objects I've never used the circular attachments because I've never used plates but you can use them for other things as well like ornaments or anything circular that you want to supplement all right, so it comes with two plates. It comes with all the different attachments for cat press. I'm making a whole lot of noise over here, guys. I'm sorry. It comes with the cap attachment, just like so. And I actually attached all of this before, but I'm not going to be using the cap attachment today. So it comes with two latte mug attachments. The big one is already in here. This is the smaller one. So I have the 17. I have the 12 ounce. And it also comes with your regular cup attachments as well. All right, so all of this comes with your 8-in-1. 8-in-1. So we're going to be using the Walla Press today. And I'm probably going to use this other baby that I haven't used in a while. This is the Walla Press. I have the vertical one. I think this is the vertical one. They also have a horizontal one. Now I can't remember if this is the vertical or the horizontal. The other one stands up like the Cricut Mug Press. This one, you put your mugs, tumblers in this way laying down, all right? So I'm gonna be supplementing this tumbler today inside of here because I've only used it for mugs. So I wanna see how well it does supplementing a nice little um, kid full tumbler, all right? So we're gonna do a full wrap in this one. Fingers crossed, all right? And of course, we're gonna be supplementing using the swing away, all right? So without further ado, before I get started, go ahead, smash the like button for your girl. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. I post weekly content to help you grow and start your business, fun DIY projects, and tutorials every single week, all right? So don't forget to turn on those notification bells so that way you're notified every time I post a new video. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with today's project. And today I am doing something special. My sister's goddaughter is in town, spending time with my son, spending time with them, and Everyone has been going crazy over Barbie. So today's project is gonna be none other than Barbie. Come on Barbie, let's go party. Eh, 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 eh. All right, so everyone has been going crazy. I'm seeing TikToks and reels, stories, everything about Barbie. So I'm jumping in on the trend too. I made my own little custom Barbie background template, everything kind of tweaked it. Of course, we're doing a black Barbie style, all right? And we are going to make a nice little Barbie design. So I have all of these blanks. I have all of these blanks. And I was like, because I didn't know what I was going to do today. So I found this bag that I have. The little girl is like sort of like a little diva. So I thought I would use this nice little, look at it. It just like goes. It's one of those bags where it's like, I don't know what you call that. But it's one of those bags where, you know, it has the little shimmer everything to it. And when you move it, it turns my son loves rubbing his hand up against stuff like this so i'm going to and believe it or not this is a hundred percent polyester it's a nice little drawstring bag so we're gonna pimp this out barbie style okay and i'm gonna give it to her and i'm gonna make her a nice little matching tumbler for her to go to school with all right like i said this is an 11 by 15 right so 
not too big but perfect for small projects like this and I think I'll do better this way yep perfect perfect so this is gonna fit perfect right on here we're gonna supplement this I'm gonna be using my Epson EcoTank 8550 I'm not bringing that on the table I'm just gonna leave it where it is print out my images jump into Silhouette Studio and we're gonna come back and get started so I'm gonna go ahead and start warming this up and we're gonna set this to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is the bag that I'm gonna be doing and I want the image to go across the whole entire width. So as you can see right here, this is only 12 inches. So this should be a good, yep, 14 inches should be good. So this is actually 13 and a half inches wide. It doesn't really matter the length, I just wanna make sure it gets across the hole. So 13 and a half inches and we should be good. Like I said, I'm also going to be doing this tumbler. Um, this is a PYD Life tumbler, actually. So I'm just going to remove the top. Comes with the straw. Just going to put that to the side. So I have to measure this to make sure I get a full wrap. So I'm just going to take my tape measure. And this is about four and a half inches long. Make sure I get it all the way going across but it's about a little bit 11 inches um a little less than 11 inches so i'll make it a little bit longer than 10 and a half inches wide so here's my image that i'm going to put on this nice little polyester bag and i designed it from photoshop i took a bunch of different images put it together and i just used the font barbie from creative fabrica and just typed up black barbie typed up her name put it on here i sized it to fit the width of the bag so the width of the bag is about like 14 inches so i'm hoping that this is a perfect fit i'm going to be using the 11 by 17 paper size i'm going to go ahead and flip it horizontally because i'm supplementing this of course i did separate the word from here only because it was too big once i enlarged it so i have to rotate it to fit all in this paper size so once i separated it and detached it I was able just to put the words down here in the bottom so I'll be able to fit it all and then fit it on the bag all right so of course I always have my second image over here and I'm just gonna send this to print I'm using Cosmo sublimation ink with my Epson EcoTank 8550 and I'm gonna make sure this is on the right print size I'm gonna go to page setup any printer nope 8550 and I'm going to make sure that this is on the right paper size. So where's my 11 right here, 11 by 17. And I'm always printing borderless so that way I can get the full image printed out. So as you can see, everything is within the paper margins. All right, so that's going to warm up. It's already set for 400 degrees for 60 seconds. I'm going to let that heat up and we're going to print out our images. Okay, so since I used this one for the bag, now I need to get another one. As you see, this is the original one. I'm just gonna duplicate this one. I'm gonna duplicate it again. And I'm gonna shrink it down for the size of the tumbler. So I measured my tumbler to be around four and a half by about 10 and a half inches. So it's a weird size shape. So I'm gonna just actually create a box. I'm gonna make the background the same color as the center of this design. And I'm gonna fit this within that. So I'm just duplicating this image. And now I'm gonna come over to my right hand panel and I'm gonna select my trace panel. And I'm gonna cut off the sides of the second image. So I'm going to put it onto my other image and I'm going to attach it to extend the sides. I hope that makes sense. So all I'm doing is cutting off the sides of the second image that I duplicated it and I'm attaching all of this together. I'm making sure that it's all centered and straight and I'm grouping it. And now I'm going to fit it onto that background to make sure that it can fit. So that's all I did. And now I'm just gonna um, make sure that it is flipped horizontally. I'm changing my paper size to a letter size and I'm going to print this out. Okay, here are both the images that I did. This one is gonna be for the bag. So let me go ahead and cut this part off. Separate that. 
and then this is going to be for the tumbler so I'm just going to put this to the side for right now we need butcher paper so I'm just going to cut off a piece of butcher paper and I'm going to cut two one to put on the top and one to put on the inside just in case all right so like I said this is a swing away so I'm going to swing this away keep the handle up when you lower the handle it comes down so I'm just going to place this right here you want to make sure you have all of these up all right so I have enough space for sure it covers the entire width of the bag so now the back of this is satin I'm pretty sure well the back of it is polyester as well but it's a smooth finish so I'm pretty sure I can do either side I can supplement either side but I want the image to go on here and I really want to see how it's gonna look it's black on the inside so I'm pretty sure nothing is gonna happen I'm still gonna put a piece on the inside though a piece of butcher paper on the inside as well and I believe these came from heat transfer warehouse as well I really can't remember I had these bags for a while and I have yet to use them so this is going to be the perfect little design for this bag. Pick that up. And again, you want to make sure all of these are smoothed out because you want the image to be on that side. Okay. Okay. So this is in reverse. I'm placing this down right here. I'm going to supplement this part second and then I'll push it up. So I just want to make sure it's straight kind of hard to see if it's straight or not but um I'm guessing it's straight again making sure everything is up making sure everything is laid up and I'm hoping this comes out nice guys so I'm going to press this at 400 degrees for 60 seconds I don't really need tape because it takes up the whole paper size I'm going to lay the butcher paper on top just like so here goes everything while I press don't fail me now I want to make sure I get nice pressure I feel like it's too low yep there's no pressure on that there's no pressure so I'm gonna have to lower this so this handle up here the knob lowers the platen right here so that way when I bring this down I'll get really good pressure so now that's too low so now I need to bring it back up so this is how you adjust the height of the platen all right we don't want to scorch it but you do want to have pressure Ooh. all right it's a little bit still bringing it back up and there we go all right there we go Woo! look at those colors guys can you see that Make sure you guys can see that. All right, so I'm gonna take it off. What you wanna do is take it off in one swoop so that way you get no ghosting. And I am hoping that this supplemented beautifully. All right, moment of truth. Let's see our Barbie tote bag. Guys, that came out so nice. That came out so nice. I'm not going to even do the effect yet. I'm going to go ahead and just supplement the bottom part. And then I'm going to show you what the effect does if you've never seen it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this. You want to make sure you do it upside down. I want to make sure I get that nice and centered. Okay. And I'm just going to throw that on there like that. I am going to take this just so that doesn't move all right I'm gonna slide this all the way up just so I don't and it's gonna be close but it'll be all right I'm gonna add the Teflon sheet and we're gonna do another 60 seconds right here on the clock okay let's go all right take that off as you can see this didn't mess up right here that's still fine all right yep boom 
And now we have our full bag. Full bag. That is nice, guys. All right, y'all ready to see what it does? Take this out. Didn't mess up the back at all. This is a really thick bag, really thick bag. All right, look at this. All right, let's see, gotta lay it down. Ah! So when you bring your, when you brush your hands this way, of course you get like the silver, I'm trying to do it with one hand. You can take it all out, right? Brush it all down. So cool. Take it all off. You can see just like the silhouette. So little girls will love this little bag. All right, but then when you take it and brush it back up, your image comes back. How cool is that? Sublimation polyester bag. You can put any image on it, but of course, I wanted to put Barbie. So cool. And it's a drawstring tote that they can carry around. So cool. All right, let's do the matching tumbler. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down. Thank you, Walla Press, for doing a Walla job. <laughs> All right. This is again the 12 by 15 swing away. And of course it comes with all those attachments for the mug, the cap, and the plate press. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna bring out the Walla Press. I'm gonna go ahead and start letting that heat up. When the lights come on, then I know that's ready. In the meantime, wiping this off just like so. All right, and I'll get the rest once I move the press. I'll get the rest once I move the press. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap this. I'm hoping that this is the perfect size. I'm gonna cut this. To do what, baby? Okay, give mommy a second, I'm coming right now. Okay. Cut that off. Moment of truth, let's test it. It's a little bigger. Uh, it actually is way bigger. It's way bigger. All right, so I printed out a new one. I'm hoping that this one fits. Okay, let's see how that looks. I'm just gonna cut off all of that pink at the bottom because I don't need it. Okay, so I'm just trimming, trimming, all right. I'm gonna cut off a little bit at the tip. I give myself a little extra sometime. Okay, so now that's perfect. Had I cut off any more, then I would have been messed up. All right, so bringing that down. All right, and I'm just gonna tape that up really good. Make sure it's nice and tight. So I'm gonna stick this in here, guys. Sticking that in there. And my tape is gonna be my indicator on where I have to rotate it because it's not gonna close all the way. All right, so the light came on, it's ready. I'm gonna go ahead, stick this in. And because it's not gonna close all the way, my tape is gonna be my point to let me know where I need to rotate it at, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. Auto heat press. When those lights go all the way, then you know it's sublimated. I might just let it get to maybe three green lights and then rotate it because you don't need that much time on each one. So we'll see. All right, so that was three lights. Right button to open it. 
and now I'm just going to rotate it. I can see those colors coming through. So now I'm going to close it back. And I'm only going to let it go to three lights again. All right, this is green, three green lights. We're gonna see how well this did. All right, I'm hoping that this sublimated really good. We're gonna let this cool down and then we're gonna open that. Okay, it's cooled down. Let's go ahead and unwrap it so that way we can see what it looks like. All right, guys, I don't know how this turned out. That came out nice. Now you do have like a border, the line. It didn't sublimate the bottom perfectly. And it got some ghosting at the top. Hmm. But it got the middle perfectly. Just because I didn't have enough pressure. Probably had I put it back in and stuck it in the middle and did it, it would have been perfect. But just needed a little bit more pressure at the bottom. But nevertheless, yeah, really over here. Should have definitely got more pressure. But I like the fact that this is at least centered. But now I'll know. Okay, put the top on there. And I did this using the Auto Walla Press from Heat Transfer Warehouse. You can get it in the vertical or the horizontal. Okay, of course I have to rotate that. little Barbie tumbler. So I did this tumbler and next time if you are trying to do a full one you might want to just stick it in at the bottom as well so that way you can get that full pressure applied so that way you can get a full wrap. So that's what I'll do next time when I'm using that one. Over here I had the 8-in-1 combo swing away wallet press and I did this beautiful sequence sublimation bag. It came out so nice guys. I really like this one and I'm pretty sure my little cousin Jenna is going to love it as well. I hope she's a Barbie fan. <laughs> All right. And this tumbler I'm going to put right in this little box so that way she can see the design. Really love that. So definitely check out the Walla Presses on Heat Transfer Warehouse. Again, it is a Walla week where you can save 10% off. Now this is a swing way, this is a manual, and this is a combo. But if you're looking for something bigger with more features, with more bells and whistles, they have a brand new Walla Press with interchangeable platens, sort of like my 16 by 20 heat press from Pro World, but it has even more. It has like a cat platen. It has a whole lot to it, guys. So you definitely want to check that out if you're looking for a much bigger, more professional high grade faster durable heat presser this is more like a starter one this is a budget friendly one under $300 this is one way you're trying to save some coins and you're trying to get multiple pieces all in one instead of buying separate heat presses so if you don't want to buy a separate mug press if you don't want to buy a separate cat press um, the combos are always a great option okay but definitely check out the website the link is down below if you want to see the full unboxings for this one or this one those videos will be linked down below as well and again I got the Barbie font from Creative Fabrica but the images don't ask me I googled it I stole it okay I'm not selling this I'm just making it for my little cousin I hope you enjoyed today's video and of course, as always, let me know which one was your favorite. I'd love to know what you guys think. I already know which one is my favorite. And let me know if you guys are going to go see this Barbie movie that is coming out soon. That's it. It's a wrap over here. I'm about to go take this to her because I know she's going to be excited. So come on, Barbie. Let's go party. F, 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 F. Guys, I will see you in the next video. As always, happy sublimation. Go and make sure you shop your hearts out for Halloween. Deuces. Can y'all believe my son just yelled and told me I was singing the song wrong? Like, how he know? Oh, well. Barbie World, we out.